Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Former Roma CEO Lina Saluku is in contention to become Everton's new CEO once the free can take over is com complete. Saluku resigned from her role at Roma in September, obviously due to um, the sacking of the Rossi and also uh, lots of things were going on. They were uh, the ultras were going to the training ground. They they also went to a school as well, um, and it became just a little bit too much. And she fell on a sword. She's got a brilliant track record in law. And in sport and in football, she was at Olympiakos over in Greece. She worked as part of the Olympics over there in 2000 as well. So she has had a fantastic um, apprenticeship ahead of any possible role at Everton. I recently spoke to John Solanco from Roma Press all about her credentials. So she was very interesting, her trajectory, because she was not at Roma very long. I think she arrived in April role of 2023 so she was not i mean not in that role particularly long uh, her time was interesting because uh, she arrives at roma and they name her ceo she has history at uh, olympiacos so very highly regarded and in the original press release they make it clear that she will be overseeing primarily things off of the pitch, including the stadium. Uh, however, come December, January, when Roma announced that Tiago Pinto, the former uh, tech or sporting director of the club, was going to be leaving, uh, he was the one when they announced him. He, they made it explicitly clear that he would be the one overseeing sporting and on-pitch matters. I think her downfall within Roma came to when Tiago Pinto leaves in er, at the end of January, this past January, and she uh, begins to attain very quickly. And I wrote something about this uh, the 1st of March. I published something because you could see she was starting to gain more influence, uh, not only with North the pitch matters, but now on the pitch. She, she was becoming more involved with um, uh, player selection. She was becoming more involved. Um, she was the face at the UEFA uh, UEFA draws. She would be doing interviews uh, prior to matches as well. And make sure you check out the rest of that fantastic interview on uh, Toffee TV. It was uh, great to find out all about what has been going on at Roma under the Freakins. Ipswich Town manager Keenan McKenna has confirmed that defender Axel Tazibu uh, almost lost his thumb in a freak domestic accident, revealing he had badly injured his thumb when breaking a glass, washing up. So Ipswich will be without him for the game against Everton tomorrow. They will also still be out without midfield duo Lenz Kadusti and Massimo Luango this weekend. Uh, according to reports, Everton are still searching for a stadium naming rights. Um, and Toyota is one of the companies that, that has been mentioned in multiple reports in the last couple of days. Um, obviously, this is due to the fact that the Freakens Group hold the uh, rights to sell Toyotas in the Gulf states in America and have, it's the reason they made their money and obviously Toyota has been a link since uh, the Freakins takeover was muted, uh, not only for the stadium but also for the sponsor of the shirts as well, we'll have to wait and see whether that happens, obviously with the situation last week with Manchester City and um, with the Premier League that could be made easier uh, it might work out that it might be made easier over the coming weeks and months, but there could be a a little bit of a grey area right now where they could nip in and get Everton the best possible deal. Listen, it is at the moment only reports, and it is one of those stories that you know could have started anywhere and ends up being a rumour that has turned into fact and then isn't really fact. Um, we'll wait and see, but it does seem like a credible link for the naming rights of the Everton Stadium. Uh, Bank of America has also been mentioned this week. Obviously, a huge, huge company. Uh, possibly the second largest bank in the world. Um, so, 
that could be a name as well. Huge, huge interest, I imagine, in the naming rights for the stadium once the Freakins uh, get in to Everton and that's all signed and sealed. If you want to hear more about that, make sure to check out Business with Blaine, uh, which will be uh, which is available right now over on Toffee TV Premiere if you want to watch that. Me and John had a good chat about the stadium and some of the seats in the stadium as well. So if you want to check out that, make sure to go and check it out right now. The link is in the description. The QR codes come up on the screen now. Make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to check out the match preview with Jack and myself and uh, starting 11 show as well. All the links are there. Go and check out all those fantastic shows. See you later.